Hello and welcome, my lovely English learners. This is a conversation practice lesson. This is Sara, and this is Ria. They are discussing the contrast between staying in a metro city versus a small town. They've moved to the city to succeed in their respective careers, but miss their hometown. Carefully watch the conversation and focus on the highlighted words. Later, I will explain each word and phrase with more example sentences. Hey Sara, have you ever noticed how life in the city never seems to slow down? Yeah, I mean, there's a constant buzz, no matter the time of day. Absolutely. It's a stark contrast to where I come from, where everything feels more laid back. So true, the energy can be really invigorating. There's always something happening, a new restaurant to try, a show or an exhibition. It's impossible to get bored. Who? I do love that about this city. But sometimes I miss the serenity of nature. Yes, the parks here are lovely, but it's not quite the same as being in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't agree more. But for now, the city's where everything is stored for us. The diversity, the pace, the opportunities, job, money. It's all here in the city, isn't it? For sure. The city's vibrant culture and the mix of people make every day interesting. It's like you're part of a larger picture just by being here. Definitely. And despite the hustle and bustle, there are moments of connection that you just can't find anywhere else. That's the beauty of city life. However, are you planning a trip? Quite an interesting conversation, isn't it? Did you focus on the highlighted words? There were some great words and phrases they used in the conversation. Now let's review all those highlighted words in our next section, vocabulary review. The first phase is a constant buzz. Now, before I explain to you what it means, let's listen to how it was used in the conversation. Yeah, I mean, there's a constant buzz, no matter the time of day. Now, buzz means some sort of background noise that you hear continuously. That's the literal meaning. But in this context, it means some or the other activity keeps happening. In short, a place office or city is constantly busy with events or activities. Here are some examples. In our office, there's a constant buzz of people talking and phones ringing. I feel a constant buzz of ideas in my head when I'm trying to write a story. The constant buzz of traffic outside my window makes it hard to sleep at night. Now, that's the literal meaning of constant buzz. I hope you got it. Moving on to the next phrase, stark contrast. First, let's listen to how it was used in the conversation. Absolutely. It's a stark contrast to where I come from, where everything feels more laid back. Stark contrast means a big difference between two things. It's like looking at black and white side by side they're completely opposite. When we say there's a stark contrast, we're talking about how two things are very different from each other in a way that's easy to notice. Like in the conversation, they discussed how life in a city and a small town is completely different. Here are some examples. There's a stark contrast between playing video games at home and playing outside with friends. The stark contrast between the rich and poor areas of the city is noticeable, with luxury homes on one side and dilapidated buildings on the other. 
The stark contrast in opinions between the two candidates made the debate very interesting. Up next is laid back. Let's listen to how it was used in the conversation. Absolutely. It's a stark contrast to where I come from, where everything feels more laid back. Laid back is a way to describe someone or something that is very relaxed and easygoing. It's like when you're chilling on a comfy chair without a worry, just taking things easy. You are laid back. People who are laid back don't get upset or stressed out easily. They just go with the flow. In the conversation, they discussed how life is easygoing in their hometown compared to the busy life in the city. My older brother is really laid back about his career. He never seems to worry about it. We had a laid back weekend, just watching movies and hanging out at home. This cafe is so laid back. You can sit here for hours reading or working on your laptop. I hope you know how to use it in sentences. Moving on to the next interesting word. Invigorating. Hmm. A pretty interesting word. First, let's listen to how it was used in the conversation. So true, the energy can be really invigorating. There's always something happening. Invigorating means something that makes you feel really energised and full of life. It's like when you drink a cold glass of water on a hot day and suddenly feel super refreshed, or when you take a deep breath of fresh air and feel awake and ready to go. You feel invigorating. In the conversation, they talked about how city life is filled with energy, which means it's invigorating. Here are some examples to understand it better. The invigorating smell of coffee in the morning helps me wake up and start my day. Going for a run in the cool early morning is invigorating and gets me pumped for the day ahead. Listening to my favourite upbeat music is invigorating and always boosts my mood. Here's the next word, serenity. First, let's listen in. Who? I do love that about this city. But sometimes I miss the serenity of nature. Serenity means feeling peaceful and calm, with no worries or stress. It's like when you're sitting quietly by a smooth lake, enjoying nature, and everything feels still and perfect. Or when you're looking up at the stars and feel a sense of quiet happiness. Here's how you might use serenity in sentences. The serenity of the mountaintop with its quiet and breathtaking view made me feel so relaxed. After a long day, soaking in a warm bath brought me a sense of serenity. The serenity in the library with its silent rows of books is the perfect place for me to study. Up next is middle of nowhere. It's a pretty interesting phrase. First, let's listen to how it was used in the conversation. Yes, the parks here are lovely, but it's not quite the same as being in the middle of nowhere. Well, they are comparing the parks in the city to the vast open spaces in their hometown. Middle of nowhere means a place that is very far away from where most people live, work or go. It's like being somewhere where there are not many buildings, stores or people around, maybe just fields, forests or deserts. It could also mean a situation where someone feels lost, out of place or disconnected from everything else. Or it could mean a feeling of being confused or lacking direction in life. Here are some examples. We got lost driving and ended up in the middle of nowhere, where there wasn't even cell phone service. After losing his job, he felt like he was in the middle of nowhere. 
unsure of what to do next. After the breakup, I felt like I was left in the middle of nowhere, trying to figure out how to start over. All right, let's move on to our next vocabulary, and that's larger picture. Listen to the phrase in the conversation. For sure, the city's vibrant culture and the mix of people make every day interesting. It's like you're part of a larger picture just by being here. Well, as they discussed, there are drawbacks of city life, but overall, it has many benefits. The larger picture means thinking about the whole situation instead of focusing on the small details. It's like when you're looking at a big puzzle. Instead of just looking at one piece, you try to see how all the pieces fit together to make the whole image. Here are some examples to understand it better. The teacher explained that while getting a good grade on one test is important, the larger picture of learning and understanding the subject matters more. In business, sometimes you have to think about the larger picture, like how a decision now will affect the company years down the line. Even though she was disappointed not to win the contest, she saw the larger picture of how much she had improved by participating. With that, we move on to our last phrase from today's conversation. Hustle and bustle. First, let's listen in. Definitely. And despite the hustle and bustle, there are moments of connection but you just can't find anywhere else. That's the beauty of city life. Hustle and bustle means a lot of activity and noise, usually because many people are busy going about their tasks or there's a lot of movement and energy in a place. It's like when you're at a busy market and everyone is walking around, talking, buying things, and there's just a lot of life and excitement happening all at once. Here's how you might use hustle and bustle in sentences. The hustle and bustle of the city streets can be exciting, with cars honking and people rushing to and from work. The hustle and bustle in the shopping malls is overwhelming during the holiday season. He decided to take a weekend trip to the mountains to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. So those were eight great words and phrases from today's conversation. Now listen to the conversation one more time and focus on the highlighted words. Now you know what they mean and it will help you understand the context of the conversation better. Hey Sarah, have you ever noticed how life in the city never seems to slow down? Yeah, I mean, there's a constant buzz, no matter the time of day. Absolutely. It's a stark contrast to where I come from, where everything feels more laid back. So true, the energy can be really invigorating. There's always something happening, a new restaurant to try, a show, or an exhibition. It's impossible to get bored. Who? I do love that about this city. But sometimes I miss the serenity of nature. Yes, the parks here are lovely, but it's not quite the same as being in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't agree more. But for now, the city's where everything is stored for us. The diversity, the pace, the opportunities, Job, money, it's all here in the city, isn't it? For sure, the city's vibrant culture and the mix of people make every day interesting. It's like you're part of a larger picture just by being here. Definitely. And despite the hustle and bustle, there are moments of connection that you just can't find anywhere else. That's the beauty of city life. However, are you planning a trip to your hometown? 
That's all for today. If you liked this lesson style and want more such conversation practice lessons, let me know in the comments. Hit like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss such important English lessons. Keep learning and keep practicing English. Thanks for watching 